Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Emu Chicken of Team Pandory, and today we're going to check through the 25 games of the A500 Mini. We're going from A to Z. The first game, Alien Breed 3D. This one's an FPS that copies many features of the game Doom. Back then, it was all about getting Doom on the Amiga. It really does look the part, but it gets let down by the gameplay and being stuck in a pool. We're going to put Alien Breed 3D as a B. Next up, Alien Breed 92 Special Edition. In this game, we control a marine and shoot through hordes of aliens. Hello. This, indeed, was supposed to be Aliens the video game. They didn't get the license, but instead, they spawned the franchise. This one or two player top-down shooter is much like Gauntlet, with a shop and weapon upgrades. Alien Breed 92 is a solid S. Next up, Another World, another SF-inspired video game where you control the hero through his adventures in another world. This game mixes adventure, shooting, platforming and puzzling elements to deliver rich gameplay, then rewards the player with incredible cutscenes. Solid S. Arcade Pool, another game by Team17, a top-down view pool simulator. Games like this were very common on 8-bit computers and this game does nothing more than refine it. I'm gonna give this one a B. Next up, ATR, All Terrain Racing. This one's an overhead racer, and it looks fantastic. You buy a car, upgrade it, and I think this one gets a bit of a bad rap, maybe for its very high difficulty. I'm gonna give this uh, an A. Battle Chess. I don't think anyone could really say that chess is a bad game, but with Battle Chess, we get the pieces fight each other in these glorious animations. You can play against the computer, 1v1, or you could watch the computer have at it. Back in the day, the computer took a long time in deciding its move, but depending on emulation options, this may be much quicker. Battle Chess, S tier. The next game, Cadaver, is one of Bitmap Brothers' early works, an isometric RPG style game. While it does look pretty good, the UI is quite difficult to work your head around. Cadaver begins with a letter C. California Games. It's pretty much the Olympics in California. Compete against your friends in various events such as footbag, skateboarding, BMX, and roller skating. While the Sega Mega Drive had an excellent version, the one on the Amiga kind of lacks somewhat. This one's going right in the D, but if you're with your friends, a C. Chaos Engine. Another one by the Bitmap Brothers. This one is a top-down shooter. Control two mercenaries and fight through hordes of monsters until you reach the Chaos Engine. Atmosphere, style, and gameplay. It's all here. Straight in the S. Dragon's Breath is a fairly interesting game where we hatch, raise, and breed dragons. Use these with spells to conquer numerous villages and cities around the map. Sounds great on paper, but it needs a lot of time to get your head around it. Dragon's Breath, B tier. F-16 Combat Pilot is one of the earlier flight simulators for the system. If the Amiga Mini had a keyboard, then this would be rated much higher. No keyboard equals bad flight sim. In the D you go. Kickoff 2. Back in the day, you're either for Kickoff or Sensi. Kickoff 2 was incredibly fast and insanely difficult to control the ball. That aside, Kickoff 2 was an iconic football game for the Amiga and shaped the next games to come. Kickoff 2 in the A. Lost Patrol. Based in the Vietnam War, you and your squad must navigate to the nearest US base. Most of the time you'll be looking at the map and you'll need to look after your squad's health and morale. There's mini games every now and then. It's a bit like Oregon's Trail, but in Vietnam. Lost Patrol, B. Next up, Paradroid 90. What we have here is a futuristic top-down shooter where you need to eliminate all droids and robots. This did get high reviews back in the day, but I feel it's aged a lot, so I'm going to give it a C. Next up, Pinball Dreams. This is one of the first pinball games that had believable ball physics. There are four tables to choose from, and you can play from one to four players. Great music, great graphics, great game. Pinball Dreams, S tier. Moving on, Project X Special Edition. This side-scrolling shooter is very similar to Gradius or R-Type. You can select between three ships, 
and it's hard as hell. Gonna give this an S. Quack. An arcade platform game in the same vein as Bubble Bubble. Play as a duck and throw eggs at... baddies. Not a bad little game, but most of the fun will be had when you're playing with a friend. A tier. Next up, Sentinel. Another game that sounds great on paper. This one's set in 3D. You need to absorb energy from trees, rocks, then teleport to different places. Bit of a steep learning curve on this one, and it does look a bit dated. C. Moving on, Simon the Sorcerer. A point and click adventure game, similar to Monkey Island and the like. But here we have a young boy that wishes to become a wizard. With a beautiful art and witty dialogue, this one gets a solid S. Speedball 2 Brutal Deluxe. What do you get if you mix football, American football, rugby, fighting within a futuristic world? Speedball 2. Good fun for two players, but exceptional as a one player when you choose league mode. Training your players and purchasing new ones make for a brutally awesome game. S. Stunt Car Racer. Get in a fast car, then race it on a roller coaster. One of Jeff Crammon's earlier racing games, this one especially holds up today, even if it is hard as nails. Stunt Car Racer is an S. Supercars 2. Another top-down racer for one or two players. What makes it stand out from the rest is that each player can upgrade and arm their vehicle with weapons. Pair this with money management and the humorous interviews, you've got a belter. S. Titus the Fox is a platform game released just after the original Sonic the Hedgehog. This is actually a rebranding of the game Lagath, but outside cute graphics and nostalgia goggles, there's not really much here. B. Worms Director's Cut. Worms is a tank style game where you create a team and use a limited stash of crazy weapons to defeat the enemy. It's definitely one to play with your friends and actually works quite well with a CD32 style pad. S. Last up, Zool. This game gets a lot of hate. I think mainly people forget to turn on the music, press space at the title screen, and then rock out as a ninja from the nth dimension. He also likes sweets. Can the Amiga go head to head with Sonic? Not quite with Zool, but it's worthy of an A for average. On the whole, we feel that the games list is easily a four out of five, above average. Remember, we can apparently add games, so there's that. Either way, I'm still waiting on my order. So what do you think about this game's list? Would you rank them any differently? As we listen to some of Chris Hulsbeck's finest works, here's a quick thank you to all of those on our Patreon. Outside of fixing the Pandora boxes, we make reviews, guides, and see how far we can push things for the cheapest bang for buck. If you'd like to support our work, please hop on. I know many are still waiting for their A500 Mini to come. Yep, me too. We'll review it as soon as we can. I am so angry that Buttholes got their A500 Mini early. This is the same thing that happened with the Egret. Those other guys suck. Please like our video and subscribe for more awesome nonsense. Or I will take your lunch money. I John Woo. Anyway. This has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra!